Europa Clipper mission cleared for launch. The Europa Clipper probe has been given the green light. NASA has confirmed that the mission to Europa, one of Jupiter's moons that hides a huge ocean under its icy crust, will be launched into space as planned, on October 10th. The Europa Clipper mission is to explore Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. Europa has long been considered one of the most promising places in our solar system to look for alien life. Europa is the fourth largest moon of Jupiter, one of its 92 known natural satellites. It is also the sixth largest moon in the solar system. This icy ball is larger than the dwarf planet Pluto but slightly smaller than Earth's moon. The surface of Europa is subject to frosty conditions with an average temperature of minus 170 degrees Celsius. Astronomers suspect that Europa hides a huge ocean under its icy crust. Thanks to the temperature coming from the moon's interior, the oceans may have conditions conducive to complex chemical reactions. In turn, analyses of data from the Galileo and Cassini probes have shown geyser activity on this icy moon. This was also confirmed by observations using the Hubble Space Telescope. Researchers saw clouds appearing and disappearing, probably water vapor. The geysers are so large that their plume can reach up to 200 kilometers. For this reason, Europa is one of the most promising worlds in the solar system for searching for extraterrestrial life. Although this moon is much smaller than Earth, its ocean may contain twice as much water as all the seas of our planet combined. What's more, studies from two years ago determined that volcanic activity may still be smoldering on Europa, and the moon's bottom may be dotted with volcanoes and hydrothermal vents. The discovery fuels speculation about the possibility of microbial life on Europa, because despite the extreme conditions, various forms of life exist around Earth's hydrothermal vents. However, the subsurface ocean is covered with an icy crust several or even dozens of kilometers thick, which makes any potential ocean sampling quite a challenge. Scientists will soon have the opportunity to learn more about Europa. On October 10, a $5 billion spacecraft will fly into space aboard a Falcon Heavy rocket to take a close look at the intriguing moon. NASA has three weeks to launch the probe, then the launch window will close and it will be necessary to wait another year. In view of the approaching deadline, NASA engineers have accelerated equipment testing. The project has previously struggled with various technical problems. Recently, transistors placed in circuits along the entire length of the probe failed. Ultimately, however, they passed rigorous tests. Engineers have determined that they will survive the mission. Jordan Evans, the project manager, said, we have a high degree of confidence that we can complete the Europa exploration mission as planned. We are ready for Jupiter, he added. We are confident that our beautiful spacecraft and capable team are ready to launch and perform a full science mission on Europa, said Lori Leshin of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The Europa Clipper will take six years to reach Jupiter. It will orbit the gas giant every three weeks. The mission is scheduled to make 49 close flybys of Europa, some as close as 25 kilometers, 15 miles, from its surface, allowing cameras and other instruments including ice-penetrating radar to map virtually the entire moon. The Europa Clipper is the largest spacecraft ever built by NASA to explore another planet. When its solar panels are deployed, it is more than 30 meters, 100 feet, wide. It is also 5 meters, 16 feet, tall and weighs more than 3 tons. The Europa Clipper is designed to conduct in-depth studies of the icy moon. 
The main goal is to check whether it can support life in its subsurface ocean. However, the mission will not be easy. Europa's orbit leads through Jupiter's intense radiation belts. This radiation can fry the spacecraft's electronics, hence the care taken with the transistors. That is why the mission is planned to reduce the probe's exposure to radiation from the gas giant as much as possible. The spacecraft will carry nine scientific instruments, including cameras and spectrometers for high-resolution imaging of Europa's surface, a magnetometer to measure the strength and direction of the magnetic field, and the aforementioned ice-penetrating radar to determine the thickness of the ice crust above the ocean. The Europa Clipper mission does not include a lander. NASA representatives have admitted that they would like the probe to fly through one of the plumes of material ejected from the moon. This will give them a chance to study samples of the ocean below the surface. But this is not the only mission heading to Europe. On April 14, the European Space Agency's JUICE, Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, mission was launched from a spaceport in French Guiana. This mission will undertake the study of three of Jupiter's moons, including Europa. A -a 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 -a